हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर श्रुति बजाज डायरेक्टर एंड कंसल्टेंट क्लिनिकल जेनेटिसिस्ट एट द पर्पल जीन क्लिनिक मुंबई इन 2012 अमेरिकन जर्नल ऑफ मेडिकल जेनेटिक्स हैड फ्लैशड अ न्यूज़ टू मेनी चिल्ड्रन विद ऑटिज्म आर मिसिंग देयर जेनेटिक कंसल्टेशंस 10 इयर्स हैव ट्रैवर्सड बाय प्रोबेब्ली द स्टोरी हैजंट चेंज्ड टू मच इन टुडेस यूट्यूब सेशन लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड द इंटरप्ले बिटवीन जीन्स एंड ऑटिज्म Autism as we know is a complex neurobehavioral disability associated with communicational, social and behavioral concerns. There is a rising prevalence of autism. From 1 in 166 children, the prevalence of autism has gone to 1 in 54 in 2020. What is it that causes autism? Well, it is postulated that autism could be the end result of a complex interplay between genes environment and certain unknown factors of interest however there are certain genetic factors which when present can independently result in autism as the years are passing and our knowledge of genes and genomics is improving there is a rapid expansion in the number of genes discovered associated with autism as you can see in this graph Back in 1975 there were just two to three genetic associations with autism while now in 2020 there are more than 1000 genes associated with autism with the help of these new age genetic test one can diagnose precisely the genetic aberration that can predispose an individual to autism while it is postulated that overall 60% of autism could have an underlying genetic underplay the current yield of the new age genetic test is around 30 to 40% in other words if 100 individuals with autism were to undergo genetic test maybe 30 to 40% of them would actually get a precise molecular diagnosis why is it important that we have a confirmed genetic diagnosis for individuals with autism well firstly Autism can sometimes be a piece of the larger jigsaw puzzle, one of the stars in the constellation, as we say. And diagnosing the complete genomic diagnosis, the complete genetic diagnosis, can actually give actually give us an insight about the true syndromic association. For example, a child could have autism, developmental disability, seizures, growth failure, and arriving at a confirmed genetic locus can actually give us a complete diagnosis to the scenario secondly getting a diagnosis can help us to predict and prevent or mitigate the complications that are associated with it also in 5% of the cases these syndromes or these diagnoses may actually have an underlying treatment option that may be available some of the examples are inborn errors of metabolism which if treated and picked up early can be amenable to reversal of the symptoms or even limitation of the neuromorbidity last but not the least getting a confirmed diagnosis in these individuals with autism can help the families take informed reproductive decisions so that the next child does not have the same symptom complex as we know autism has an overall risk recurrence of 20% however with a confirmed genetic diagnosis these families can prevent a risk of recurrence in the next week there are many tests that are available in the market but there are false positives and false negatives that are possible with them we need to choose these tests wisely even more important we need to interpret these tests wisely so get in touch with your genetic expert and try to get your child's diagnosis at the earliest thank you so much